Welcome to Michelle's Sanctuary. I am Michelle, your dreamy guide on this journey to a relaxing mental holiday before falling asleep. Tonight you may indulge in a collection of six holiday tales stitched together to offer continuous and uninterrupted storytelling. Experience a Christmas village in Ireland a Christmas tree farm in Pennsylvania, a magical North Pole escape, a snow globe shop, a winter soiree at a castle, and lastly, an imaginative gingerbread village. It might be a good time, before you settle in, to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, so you may return to the story whenever you like. Also, as the sanctuary is yours as much as it is mine, feel free to leave any suggestions in the comments or stories you'd like to hear throughout the winter. Now is the time to explore the sanctuary of your mind as you prioritize yourself with this brief relaxation before the stories commence. Together, we will take three Christmas-inspired conscious breaths together. As you hear my voice, imagine I am a dear friend who is completely dedicated to ensuring you have a lovely time. Allow your body to settle and revel in the offerings of repose relaxation, and restoration that each night brings. Empty all the air from your lungs as we indulge in round one, a breath for the gift of presence. Sip in a deep breath. The air is like a tonic as you imagine the crisp winter air filling your lungs. And with it, you visualize the tiny details you enjoy, no matter how the holidays play out. Exhale in a sigh, releasing any distractions and fully embracing the present moment. Feel the magic of the season surround you like a comforting blanket of hope and love. Round two, the glow of lights. Inhale deeply, envisioning the soft glow of holiday lights, even as darkness dominates with shorter days. The human spirit has found a way to shine light into the dark. As you exhale, let go of any lingering shadows in your mind as the radiant energy of the lights illuminates your spirit, filling you with peace and a sense of wonder. And now our final conscious breath, round three, the sound of silence. With your next inhalation, tune into the soothing sounds of the season, whether it's the soft patter of snow, distant carolers, or the crackling of a fireplace. Absorb the faraway, serene melodies that fade into a silent night. As you exhale, release any mental chatter and immerse yourself in the calming stillness of this time, reserved for hibernation. Your breath returns to normal as you bask in the magical aura of the holiday. Allow the essence of the season 
to dwell within your heart and mind, flickering like an eternal flame and in the state of bliss and peace. It's time for the stories to begin. Christmas Market in Ireland Take, if you must, this little bag of dreams. Unloose the cord and they will wrap you round. W.B. Yeats Some say that the spirit of Yeats can be felt on misty days in Galway. Every soul has the magical power to dream, and such dreams come to life at the Christmas market in the city. The harbor city stands where the Atlantic meets the river Carib, the winding lanes of cafes, pubs, boutiques, and galleries thrive within the stone-clad walls erected in medieval times. Considered one of the brightest jewels of West Ireland, Galway's popular dwellings are in vibrant hues of red, cobalt, emerald, and yellow. The pops of color on the facades and trims create hope on the dreariest of winter days. Come time for the annual Christmas market, the primary colors reflect on the wet cobblestones to double their beauty. Golden holiday lights dangle and sparkle like fairy dust scattered throughout the cozy lanes. Market stalls fill Air Square, a historic park, once a medieval open space before a town gate known as the Green. A Ferris wheel showers the market in silvery white and icy blue light. White picket fences surround a lush green lawn decorated with oversized candy canes that rise out of the damp earth like red and white striped forests. Wooden gingerbread men and women the size of small children pose like hosts for the market, standing at full attention. Hand-painted scarlet red lips and wide toothy smiles decorate the gingerbread heads. The figurines stand around a gingerbread house that awakens the imaginations of children and the adults who never left their childlike imagination behind. You walk through the market on a misty night. The threat of frozen fog and freezing rain has kept many away from the market. You revel in the freedom to explore the festival with minimal crowds. Yet you also feel grateful for interactions with brave souls who, like you, cannot be deterred by the elements. The silvery mist adds an air of romance to the heart of Galway as everything shines and shimmers in its wake. You wear a locally made sweater and a trench coat cinched around your waist with a wide belt. Your soft scarf remains high upon your chin, sealing in the warmth of your body. You take in a deep breath and smell the fragrant notes of cinnamon, cloves, and butterscotch that flavor steamy winter warmers served in cafes. You walk beneath a canopy of rainbow lights wrapped around the skeletal branches of barren trees. In the absence of leaves, the bright colorful lights add hope and beauty to the dark silhouettes. 
you come upon dozens of rows of market stalls, staged like open-air wooden chalets. They sell crafts, sweaters, treats, and holiday gifts. You pass a stall that smells of Christmas, of evergreen trees and festive treats. Inside the modest chalet is a young artist who crafts magical worlds inside candle holders filled with gel, ice skating scenes, snow-dusted evergreen forests, and thatched roof stone cottages along rustling streams are recreated in the candle holders. You are drawn to a piece that reminds you of the historic stone cottage where you are staying for the night. The young artist greets you with, Giaquich, or God be with you. You say hello and look around. She pulls back the sleeves of her thick cable-knit green sweater and draws a wooden match from a drawer behind the display. She strikes the match against the table and lights a tea light candle within one of her creations. Within the glass holder, you see the cliffs of mohair and white-capped blue-green waves that glow in the amber candlelight. These worlds are like the miniature landscapes found within a snow globe, delicately assembled with silver tweezers and an artist's vision. The gel surrounding these tiny worlds contains natural oils that bring the smells of Irish woodlands in the sea. You purchase the candle jar that reminds you of your cottage. The artist carefully wraps it in brown paper and places it in a gift bag along with a complimentary box of matches. You thank her, grateful for this unique piece of Ireland to come home with you and you continue to explore the market. You walk by a stall selling wreaths and boughs of holly and ivy. The clean minty perfume of evergreens washes over you and causes you to walk closer. The vendor explains to a little girl in a scarlet velvet coat with ivory faux fur trim that long ago in Ireland, before the Christmas tree was popular, Ivy and Holly would fill the home with good cheer, and it was believed that more holly berries meant more luck in the new year. You enjoy being an observer as you walk through the Christmas market. You travel from scene to scene of human interactions and festive moments unfolding before you like a lush welcome carpet of kindness and bliss. A fiddler plays classic Christmas melodies atop a modest stage made of rustic wood. The bow gracefully glides across the strings, maneuvered by the musician's slender hand, dressed in glittery fingerless gloves to stay warm. You come upon the ferris wheel, where the young boy begs his mother to go for a ride. She seems overwhelmed with a swaddled newborn resting on her chest and a toddler fast asleep in his stroller. She explains to the boy that even though she promised to take him, he cannot ride alone and she cannot leave his siblings. 
the child turns to you with teary eyes and then looks back at his mother. The mother looks at you, hoping for backup from another adult to confirm the child cannot ride alone. You introduce yourself and mention that you are going to ride the Ferris wheel but don't want to be alone in the cabin. You ask the mother if she knows of someone who might want to join you. The mother smiles from relief and avoiding a meltdown from her little boy. For his father had promised the child for weeks that he could see the top of Galway when they came to the festival. But his father had been kept late at work doing his best to make extra money for the holidays. The child's eyes widen, and the Christmas tree and Ferris wheel reflect in his shiny blue irises. The mother offers to pay, but you insist in the spirit of the holidays. It's a gift. You ask the young chap his name, and he says it's Liam, a name for warriors. You softly laugh. His sadness has been transformed into feistiness and deep appreciation. The wheel spins around a few more times until it's time to board. Liam skips to the pod in excitement and turns to his mother to wave before climbing in. She silently mouths the words, thank you, and you follow the boy into the glowing cabin. The ride attendant asks if you are both settled and then closes the door. As the Ferris wheel slowly climbs above the Christmas market, Liam excitedly details his visit with Santa. He whispers to you conspiratorially, My wish was that my pa would take me on this ride, but I'm glad you're here with me because you showed up like magic. Your heart warms, and you see yourself at his age your mind drifting to a time when the world and simple pleasures brought this much enthusiasm. Liam points to a glittering pool of darkness and says he can almost view the sea. He insists the ride is taking you both as high as Santa's sleigh flies on Christmas Eve cool, salty air rushes through the windowless cabin as the ferris wheel goes round and round. Your heart swells as you take in the beauty below. Your cheeks burn from a persistent smile that cannot leave your face. And every now and then you wave to Liam's mom letting her know her boy is safe. Liam laughs and hugs his small belly, exclaiming that his tummy tickles when the wheel ascends. The ride comes to a pause, and your cabin swings gently back and forth before coming to stillness at the top of the ride. Liam looks at you curiously and asks, What did you ask Santa for? Your answer comes with care. You think about the vendor describing the abundant holly berries that decorate the market to inspire luck for a new year. There are many things you could say or wish for, you yearn for a life that brings moments as pleasant as this one. These simple, 
unexpected joyous moments cause all the unwanted challenges in life to fade into the background. You imagine a life where your heart and mind focus on beautiful adventures, magic, and unexpected connections like this while paying less attention to the disruptions to your peace. You tell the small boy who patiently waits for your answer that you got your wish by taking this ride with him. Liam's face beams. Your words cause the boy to feel seen. He feels his value in being part of creating this new memory. Similarly, you feel valued for helping his Christmas wish come true. The frost fog rolls in slowly, creating ice crystals on the lawn and trees in a cloudy blanket of silver white. The wheel comes around and stops so you and Liam may disembark. The boy excitedly runs to his mother, detailing the ride in animated chatter. He asks if she saw him at the top of the sky. She tells him he looked so brave way up in the sky. She smiles at you and reminds Liam to thank you for your time. The boy runs back to you and wraps his small arms around your leg in a hug. His cheerful voice exclaims, Thank you. Happy Christmas. When you book a trip like this one, you rarely imagine that an experience like this will be the memory that remains the brightest in the years to come. After a round of holiday wishes with the family, you say goodbye. The market begins to close down a bit early as the storm rolls in. You walk through the fog, comforted from its chill by your many layers. Ice crystals float in the air and melt on your nose and lips tasting a bit like the sea. The frozen crystals sparkle on lampposts and street signs as you walk to the west end. Golden holiday lights swing over the cobblestone lanes to illuminate the intricate designs of the incoming ice crystals. You arrive at the river. The night is so quiet you can hear the current and the soft crinkling melody of ice. Wood smoke squiggles out of the chimneys of historic homes that line a residential block. The smoky and peppery aroma marries the metallic smell of the fog. Holiday lights glitter around the perimeters of stone cottages with vibrantly painted doors in hues of bubblegum pink, crimson, kelly green, and sapphire blue. You cross a stone bridge over the reflective ebony water. Candles glow in white trimmed windows of homes that are over a century old, offering hope and warmth. The frost coats verdant hedges and ivy cascading down stone facades in a mystical opal sheen. At times it feels as though you are walking through a dream 
until you round a corner and a blustering breeze lands on your face and brings you back to the moment. Your adventurous spirit is overcome by sleepiness as you continue on the quiet road that leads to your thatch roof cottage. One of the oldest cottages in Galway, it retains its original style long after its neighboring homes became modernized. You walk along a canal and feel the respect and appreciation for a land that honors its waterways and the sea in poems and songs. Holiday music plays from a bed and breakfast where guests gather in the main room and celebrate. The intimate gathering makes you smile and once again appreciate this time of year. Holiday lights twinkle on the canal and you come to the bright red door of the white cottage. Frost covers the thatch roof like sparkling icing on shredded wheat. Bells jingle on the lush wreath hung on the front door as you step into the warm cottage. You flip on a switch and the holiday tree lights up in soft rainbow hues that reflect on the frost-covered six-paned window behind it. The colorful glow pours over the wooden floors and white walls. Water droplets bead on your resistant coat as the ice crystals melt. The wind whistles down the lane and makes you deeply appreciate arriving at the cozy, warm dwelling. You remove your shoes and step into plush slippers lined with faux sheepskin. You remove your new candle from the gift bag and place it atop the mantel. A brass antique matchbox sits near the hearth, engraved with a quote from Yeats. Education is not the filling of a pail, but the lighting of a fire. You take a long wooden match and light the candle wick. As the flame flickers, you inhale the natural holiday aromas and watch the artistic world within the glass jar come to life. The candle holder is like a time capsule that captures this dreamy moment in Galway. You ignite crumpled newspaper below a teepee of tinder in the stone fireplace. The paper catches and soon the wood crackles and burns. You add a log and feel proud of the fire you built as the amber light warms your face and hands. The moment feels timeless. You settle into an overstuffed chair that hugs around you. You wrap yourself in a crocheted chenille blanket in a color that most soothes you. Rain begins to fall and taps against the windows in a staccato patter. 
the thatched roof softens the sound, as if the raindrops fall on a bale of hay. These simple pleasures in this moment bring you joy. The relief from the cold, a quiet respite from the celebratory moments at the market, the beauty and the contrast of each experience on this evening, the way you feel satiated, calm, and appreciative. The hypnotic orange gold flames cause your eyes to blear, and you vow to be more attentive to the comforts and beauty that may be found throughout each day. You form an intention to be a moment collector, letting each moment serve as evidence that the world is kind and offers a state of breathtaking beauty. The rain trickles down the window panes, melting the coating of ice crystals in its wake. You yawn and reach for a volume of poetry that rests on a hand-carved side table as old as the walls of the cottage. You randomly turn to a page, imagining it will contain the most important message for you to come across on this cozy winter night. It's not all that surprising that the words of Yeats find you again. The passage reads, The world is full of magic things, patiently waiting for our senses to grow sharper. You reflect on the adventures of the night. Recognizing how magic could be found in every crystal formed by nature, in the splendor of a fire, in the hopeful voice of Liam, in the artisan's details, and in the rustic cottage where you now find peace. As the sensations of this moment, take on the softness of a camera lens coated in Vaseline, as once employed in old films. You hope for your awareness of these feelings to sharpen each day. After a night of sleep, you may awaken to the magic of a new day. You may become aware of the abundant sparkle and glow that creates hope in the darkest of winter days. You begin to drift between worlds as a soundtrack of falling rain and a crackling fire usher you to sleep, slipping, drifting through the gentleness of this moment, safe, warm, and dry. You enjoy the melodic rain as you surrender to rest. With each breath, you are one breath closer.
closer to the repose and dreams that you seek. And you may wrap yourself in a blanket of slumber or drift into the next story, the Christmas tree farm. You find yourself in another time and place. Not so long ago that life is glaringly different, but long enough back through the decades when everyone's hands are free of devices linking them to a constant stream of information. You travel to a time when everyone is more present in the moment as it unfolds. You stand beneath a hand-carved wooden sign posted atop two pointed logs that pierce the sky like sharpened pencils. The sign reads, Great Pines Christmas Tree Farm, located in the outskirts of Redding, Pennsylvania, surrounded by the snow-capped peaks of Never Sink Mountain and the ever-winding Schuylkill River. The farm has the pioneer spirit of the Daniel Boone homestead not far away. A 19th century home overlooks sprawling acres of evergreen trees. The shake siding of the rustic main house looks like gingerbread shingles coated in icing. A family of four resides in the home and opens the farm to the public to host festive engagements on December weekends. Douglas fir, blue spruce, Fraser fir and scotch pine trees dapple the rolling hills caked in sparkling white snow. Pale gray clouds slither across the blue sky as the late afternoon sun breaks through with streams of golden promise. The air is cold, though not quite biting. It is invigorating enough to make your nose tingle. It may not be your standard attire, but you dress in a heavy red and green plaid flannel coat over a thick sweater, thermals, and well-worn jeans. Fuzzy socks keep your feet warm beneath boots laced up to your shins. The rubber soles of your boots crunch on a sparkling blanket of snow compacted by the footprints of children and adults, the hoof prints of horses and deer, and the paw prints of bunnies and dogs. Your beloved dog stands at your side, as eager to explore the farm as you are. Everything about the tree farm and this moment in time feel wholesome and welcoming. Some may even find it a bit cheesy or maudlin, but given the world's potential for darkness, on this December day, even the most cynical visitors embrace their visit with a glint of hope in their eyes. The safety felt within the chocolate brown wooden fences of the farm makes one realize that only an unhealed soul, afraid of feeling loved and tended to, would reject the joyous wonders found in each acre of discovery. All problems fade away at the tree farm, not deserving of attention when there is so much fun to be had. Trucks and station wagons fill the parking lot as families and couples maneuver their trees and tether them in the pickup beds and atop car roofs with ropes and bungee cords. Flurries fall, dancing in the sunlight like fairy dust, swept away by a wintry breeze. You take in a deep 
breath and can smell the clean snow and the aromatic citrus, woody, and sweet earthy notes of Fraser fir and blue spruce trees. Holiday music plays through loudspeakers strung from vintage lampposts placed throughout the property. Jazzy, soulful renditions of Christmas songs with their analog crackle are as comforting as a whispering wind in the forest. Visitors gather around a weather-worn scarlet woodshed that serves holiday confections and warm drinks and is where people pay for their trees. Mold cider with floating cinnamon sticks and infused hot chocolate with clouds of whipped cream keep their hands warm and fill the air with sweet, intoxicating smells. The female proprietor serves guests as she balances her young blonde son on her hip. Her toddler smiles widely. His cheeks and lips are as red as maraschino cherries. You approach the kind woman to inform her you rented the farm cottage for the night. Her smile broadens as she greets you by name and says the cottage will be ready in an hour, but you are free to leave your bag behind the counter and enjoy the festivities. Her assistant wears a floppy red, white, and green striped elf hat and asks if you would like something to drink. You order your favorite hot beverage, enhanced with seasonal flavors that appeal most to you. He then offers a cane-shaped dog treat for your pup, who politely sits and waits for their reward. You step outside the shed and take a sip of the steamy drink. Your breath condenses in the cold. Yet with each inhale, you savor the feeling of the wintry air. The briskness purifies your lungs with each intake. People gather around a stone fire pit to roast marshmallows and warm their hands. Some have already cut down their trees and secured them to their cars while others imbibe and prepare for the adventurous search and tree cutting to come. The 12 year old daughter of the owners sits on the porch of the main house overlooking the farm. Her flaxen hair shines beneath the wool cap as she strums a guitar and pens a song in her slightly crumpled notebook. The magic of the tree farm feeds an artist's mind. She goes mostly unnoticed by the visitors. Her voice and strumming are softly buried beneath the cordial conversations and pops and crackles of the bonfire. But there she is, an observer who notices every detail and frames it in a song that may one day bring the enchantment of the Christmas tree farm to listeners around the world. As you revel in the winter wonderland with your pup, you try your best to be an observer. You set an intention to focus on the most appealing and soothing offerings of each moment. You aim to collect memories that will sparkle and inspire long after you leave the farm. Around each corner, you encounter another treasure. A holiday tree adorned with hand-painted ornaments crafted throughout the season. 
tacked on strands of silver tinsel that reflect the sun. So many things reflect and sparkle on the cusp of the winter solstice. The times of light are so sparse, yet these short hours are seemingly more brilliant than any other time of year. You peruse the ornaments, some shaped like stars, others like diamonds, some round, some triangular. Some are splattered with paint and glitter, made by young tykes who unintentionally mimicked the work of Jackson Pollock. A diverse array of handwriting samples in glittering gold and silver ink are on the back of every ornament. The handwritten words reveal favorite things and holiday wishes from those who created them, along with their names and ages. Some are funny, some are sentimental. Riley Six wrote he was thankful to cut down his first tree and he wished his sister would stop being a brat. On the back of a beautiful landscape painting depicting the farm, Mara and Jose wrote they were grateful to get engaged at the farm and wished for a wonderful year together. On the back of a candy cane ornament, a five-year-old wrote that she was thankful for peppermint hot chocolate and wished everyone in the world would be more kind. Her grandmother, 75, wished for exactly the same thing and was most grateful for her granddaughter. Kayla, 11, wished for a bucket of glitter to make the winter months more sparkly. You smile and look to the very top of the 14-foot tree adorned in gratefulness and wishes. You imagine a world where all these simple things were never taken for granted and all these wishes came true. You think about what you would write on an ornament the things that fill you with gratitude dance across your mind. Your lips turn up in a smile of appreciation. These blessings strung together like vibrantly colored Christmas paper chains that wrap around a tree. You inhale deeply and sip from your drink savoring the silky sweetness that flows down your throat and warms you. You look at the silver and white twinkling star on the top of the tree and make a wish for yourself. Whatever you wish for, you know that you are worthy and deserving of it. You know that you are enough. You have done your very best. And you still are doing the best you can. As you learn and grow and experience life from behind the eyes of someone you understand most. Sleigh bells jingle and your dog excitedly hops up and perks their ears in the direction of the sound. They tug at the leash and you follow to be led to a shiny candy red apple sleigh led by two strong horses. A young man dressed in Dickensian era attire guides the horses to a stop. He sees your excited pup and laughs and waves his arm 
asking if the two of you would like a ride around the farm. Your pup doesn't give much time for you to answer, and the animal leads you to the base of the sleigh. The young coachman helps you into the sleigh, and you sink into the velvety cushion. Your dog cuddles next to you and looks eagerly out onto the rows of uncut trees. A prismatic dusting of snow crystals on forest and minty green pine needles reflects the last orange gold light of the day as the sun slips beyond a horizon of rolling hills. The light pours through wispy, barren branches of deciduous trees that will glow in white holiday lights when the sun disappears. The workhorses take off, and the sleigh rolls over a path of powdery snow. You watch a family of five drag an enormous Fraser fir tree across the snow. They pause to wave at the sleigh, using the moment to catch their breaths. Powdery flakes scatter in the breeze and land on your face and lips. They cover your dog's furry coat and begin to melt. The coachman introduces himself as Douglas and offers you a thick blanket to cover your legs. Your dog nestles beneath the blanket alongside you. You appreciate the added warmth, as comfortable as one could be on this winter day. The horses lead the sleigh around the perimeter of the tree farm. The last visitors of the day select and saw down their trees. An independent woman proudly strikes her axe into a tree trunk, and the blade gets stuck. She laughs in disbelief, but takes the challenge in stride. After a few tugs on the handle, she looks at you and Douglas. The sleigh comes to a stop, and Douglas hops out to help. He removes a saw from the front seat. You tell your pup to stay and get down as well to assist. At first, the blade refuses to budge. The wooden handle is as rigid as the trunk, and with effort, it wiggles a little at a time. The three of you take turns giving your best effort when finally the axe comes free, and you all laugh in relief. The woman borrows the saw to finish cutting the tree. Grateful for your help, yet also proud she finished the job she set out to do. Douglas offers to tie the tree to the back of the sleigh and give her a ride to the woodshed. She happily agrees. Once the tree is secured, the three of you board the sleigh and your pup nestles between you and the woman. The sweet dog sniffs at her rubbing their wet nose against her cheek, and she lovingly scratches their neck in return. As you round the bend, the sun is long gone. Vintage lampposts and golden holiday lights wrapped around the fence illuminate the path back to the woodshed. The distant sound of carolers travels on the nippy air of twilight. Lavender gray clouds lay low in the sky as flurries fall. You lean back into the sleigh to rest your head on its smooth edge. 
you look up as snowflakes fall on your lashes and sleigh bells jingle louder as the sleigh moves faster. The moment feels unexpected, familiar, and so very welcome. You feel connected to these new souls who happen to cross your path. They remind you that life is full of surprise connections that may enhance your life in ways you never expected. The horses lead the way, confident and strong. They circle around the back of a barn that is covered in holiday lights and boughs of holly. They return you to the woodshed where the last of the visitors pay for their trees. Carolers dressed in Victorian attire stand in front of the shed joined by the owner's daughter to sing classic tunes bringing warm wishes for the holidays. They hold flickering tapered candles that drip into paper sleeves. The tiny orange flames reflect on the snow and the shadows of the carolers loom behind them. You and your dog sit in an Adirondack chair by the fire and listen to the melodic songs that echo throughout the rolling hills. The owner approaches you to say your room is ready whenever you wish to settle and your bags are there waiting for you. She hands you the keys and points to the path that leads behind the main home. She offers to take you if you feel more comfortable, but you insist you are fine to find it on your own. You listen to one last song, enchanted by the voices and camaraderie of villagers who come to celebrate each year and sing along. The owner's daughter sings a solo and strums along the chords on her guitar. Firelight illuminates her golden hair and a halo forms around her windswept tresses. Her voice is youthful and captivating. With time and practice, it will only grow stronger and perhaps one day become the voice of a generation. You recognize that when you focus on the potential in others, you give space for the potential in you. Sleepiness takes hold, her song like a lullaby that makes you long for the comforts of the farmhouse cottage. Your pup is almost asleep, their bleary eyes half closed when you stand up. They stir and then eagerly stand and follow. The snow falls heavier and nearing the longest night of the year, you have a natural inclination to fall asleep earlier than you normally would. The cold, fresh air, the physical activity, and the cozy allure of the cottage conspire to make you feel both content and deeply tired. You follow a snow-dusted flagstone path that winds around the gingerbread-like home to a small stone cottage dressed in icy blue holiday lights. A wreath hangs on each window, 
strung from velvet sapphire ribbons. Electric candles illuminate each sill. A fire roars in the main room, its orange marmalade light pouring out of the eight paint windows to beckon you into the warm dwelling. You ascend the gray stone steps to a porch and unlock the blue front door. It squeaks as it opens into the living room. Decorated like a holiday home straight out of a storybook. You unleash your pup and they run into the living room. The smells of cinnamon sticks, boughs of pine, a Christmas tree, burning wood and the stone walls come together in a fragrance that will always bring you back to this moment in time. You imagine so many other people before you have experienced these smells and the warmth of this cottage for more than a century. It was once the only cottage on the property, long before the main home was built. The interior is imperfectly perfect. The not so even walls rise to wooden cross beams cloaked in tiny lights. A mistletoe hangs above the fireplace where countless kisses have been exchanged over time. The glowing warmth of the room offers angelic beauty. Your breath catches when you realize all this exists just for you. And you deserve to enjoy every splendorous moment of comfort and holiday cheer to be found in this cottage. The perimeters of each window pane are etched in lace-like snow crystals that reflect light. Whimsical items collected throughout the ages are perched in nooks and on shelves around the cottage. Large globes and antique glass ornaments decorate the tree. A half dozen snow globes sit on a mantle decked in ivy. Vintage red and ivory stockings hang above the stone fireplace. A cuckoo clock hangs on the wall and resembles Santa's village. And on the hours throughout the day, Kris Kringle pops out of the front door as it came upon a midnight clear, softly plays. You wander to the kitchen, where a gift basket brims with baked goods and fruit. A welcome note reads, Christmas is the season for kindling the fire of hospitality. Washington Irving. We hope you enjoy your stay. Your dog sits at your heels and wags their tail, so you tend to them first. You fill a metal bowl with cold water from the faucet, place it on the floor. You remove a Ziploc bag of food from your weekender bag and fill another bowl. They eagerly lap up the cold mountain-fed water and proceed to eat their dinner. 
you enjoy some of the flaky seasonal baked goods made from old Pennsylvanian recipes. Hints of sugar and spice linger on your tongue. Feeling satiated, you gather your bag and go to the bedroom to change into flannel pajamas. Your dog follows closely behind you. Light gray and beige stone walls surround a canopy bed. The bedroom is as festive as the rest of the cottage, and a small holiday tree sits in the corner of the room. A crimson velvet comforter with medallions sewn in with gold thread covers the thick mattress. A fire burns in a stone fireplace, smaller than the one in the main room. You retreat to a small bathroom to brush your teeth and prepare for bed. Each step makes you more and more tired, yearning for the softness of the canopy bed. When you return to the room, you find your dog asleep on a rug by the fire. Snow dances outside the window, and you turn off the holiday lights and candles. You peel back the heavy comforter and climb atop the bed, your head sinking into the pillows. The crisp cotton sheets smell as fresh as the mountain air. You inhale deeply and sigh, soaking in the serenity of the moment. Your eyes close, and you find yourself drifting between worlds, savoring the precious comforts of the cottage, while welcoming the gentle waves of sleep that flow over you. As you go in between worlds, letting go Drifting down, down, down. The kindness and the simple moments on the tree farm usher you from one dreamscape to the next. And you may continue to dream your way to the next story. The Christmas Cottage It feels like any other day during the bustling holiday season as time slips through your fingers and the to-do lists become lists of things you hope to do knowing some items may fall by the wayside. Yet the air teems with something unexpected causing the hairs on your arms to rise just a bit. Despite the modern world's ability to numb the senses, with overstimulation, you are remarkably in touch with your intuition as you approach your mailbox and open it to discover the usual assortment of junk mail of glossy cardstock, touting seasonal sales, begging for your pledge and support, and filling your mind with all the things you don't have, but the senders think you might somehow need. As you retrieve the articles, careful to avoid a paper cut, and balance the uneven stack A card falters and drifts through the air in suspended animation before it lands at your feet. 
Your first thought comes with the frustration that you may need to mail out another holiday card in response. Just another task for the never-ending list. Yet as you bend down and inspect the icy blue envelope more, you recognize the slightly untamed handwriting that scrawls your name much larger than the neatly printed address below it. You close the mailbox, still studying the card, recognizing the tidier handwriting below from someone who knows you well. You return to a comfortable part of your home, discarding the other items of mail to devote your attention entirely to this unexpected card. Settling in a favorite place to unwind, you carefully open the card and remove it from the envelope you discover a vintage card preserved so many years and vaguely recall the magical wintry scene on its front that depicts a watercolor artist's version of the North Pole. You run your fingers across the whimsical details vaguely remembering the snowy landscape as the image marinates in the back of your mind like a forgotten dream. You open the card to encounter more childlike handwriting, a message pressed deeply into the lush cardstock to create grooves and impressions that have lasted through time. As your recollections stir like snowy cyclones in your mind, you get to the heart of the memory. As you read the message written to you, you read your name scrolled in the way you wrote when you were eight or nine years old and beneath the salutation you come upon this message. We will always believe in magic. Promise you'll never forget this. The card is signed with love and a more ornate attempt to sign your name in fancy script. You can't specifically remember what could have happened to inspire this message to be sent. But on the back of the card is the year when this card should be mailed. And it happens to be this very year. As you sit back, you close your eyes and remember all the things that once felt magical to you, washing over you in nostalgic waves. Things you haven't imagined or thought about in some time now rush in with powerful sensory awakenings that conjure vibrant colors and landscapes and feelings of wonder. You drift to a place and time where and when your mind believed that a single thought could cast a spell and magically deliver whatever you asked of the universe. And suddenly, without even trying, your current reality 
gracefully merges with another realm, like the edges of colors, blending and overlapping in a watercolor painting to reveal an aerial view of the North Pole under the purple-black velvety blanket of night, a seemingly endless landscape of sparkling white snow that reflects the opulent light of a full moon. Desolate and quiet, you can hear the crinkling of individual snow crystals settling and shifting in gentle ways. You are dressed in winter attire from another time, warm from head to toe in downy layers, with winter boots that rise to your knees. And in this quiet solitude, truly silent night. The sky gives way to a flash of light and then a silhouette of a sleigh led by reindeer against the backdrop of the pearly moon. The cold air makes your eyes tear, creating a gauzy filter on the world around you as the grown-up and critical part of you insists it was imagined. Then you hear the jangling of the bells and the thud of the reindeer's hooves and sleigh on the untouched snow. This perceived hallucination is harder to deny when the joyous voice of Saint Nick reverberates across the snowy fields as he bellows out your name and says, I knew you would come, hop aboard. You turn around to face the glittering eyes of his herd and Saint Nick himself. Deep within, you hear your younger self in a meek yet persistent voice that only becomes louder with each passing moment. We will always believe, right? You're not quite sure, yet follow along for the sake of being a good sport. Besides, a plush warm blanket awaits in the sleigh, and the biting cold is starting to take its toll, numbing your extremities and causing your nose to tingle. You climb into the sleigh, helped by Saint Nick's strong hand as he lets out a playful grunt. You settle on the back bench and wrap the blanket around you in a cocoon as the sleigh takes off through the rolling white hills. The reindeer's hooves land on the powdery snow, leaving a sparkling white cloud of snow dust in their wake. The glowing amber lights of a village illuminate the darkness in the near distance and the sleigh propels toward it with gusto. Arriving at the village, the sweet scent of gingerbread, the comforting aromas of wood-burning fires, and the fresh smell of evergreen boughs and trees. 
waft through the air to greet you. The twinkling rainbow lights of tiny cottages extend a warm welcome. Each cottage exudes a distinct personality, offering solace to helpers and wayfaring souls seeking the comforting embrace of the North Pole. St. Nick has a knack for finding the misfits and the forgotten. With a commitment to offering a place for all those who often feel misplaced without judgment and with deep compassion. He sees beyond the roles people play, looking beyond the trauma that may have brought uncertain behaviors to admire the very essence of their being. And tonight, even in silence, Saint Nick quickly gleans the essence of you beyond the hurt or disappointments, beyond the many ways a person may find to protect themselves in the harsh moments that come with life. You can't quite grasp or explain it, but you feel yourself opening up to this moment your heart radiates warmth and your mind becomes quite calm, making room for the experiences in store. And this piece of a puzzle keeps circling back to you throughout the night in this magical, harmonious place remote from the rest of the world. You realize things do not have to continue to be the way they have always been. Guided by Saint Nick's hearty laughter and the jangling of bells on his trustworthy reindeer you traverse past sauna huts and outdoor fire pits that the villagers utilize to find cozy moments amidst the cold, dark, wintry nights. You pass a rustic theater inside a chalet and the soft sounds of a choir escape the stained glass windows illuminated by gilded light. The reindeer come to a halt and Saint Nick helps you disembark as your feet crunch on the snow. His crew takes charge of the reindeer, guiding them to snug stables where two wreaths are hung and draped in cherry red velvet bows. Led by Saint Nick, you amble down a snowy lane, hugged by rustic fences, adorned with silvery blue icicle lights. You step beneath a trellis made of life-sized candy canes covered in ivy and come upon a ginormous igloo-like structure. The outside of this dome flashes pastel rainbow hues like a vintage strobe light and a hypnotic calming display. You take a deep breath, 
feeling tiny ice crystals form in your nose as you revel in the fresh metallic scent of snow. An automatic door on the dome rises from the ground and you walk through it. Led by Saint Nick, it closes with a hiss behind you and your guide. The room is a wide open space with a planetarium or sky ceiling overhead that simulates a celestial expanse. Stepping inside, warmth envelops you as a fire burns brightly in the center of the room, crackling and popping and causing you to think about other souls through time who were warmed beneath the sky by a campfire, oversized pillows, and soft mattresses scatter across the floor in unique shapes and designs in a tapestry of softness. Fluffy jewel-toned blankets and patchwork quilts accompany star-shaped velvety and silk accent pillows. One of Saint Nick's helpers appears and offers to take your coat in exchange for a robe that she helps cinch around your waist. It's a magical place, blending both futuristic and rustic charm. Saint Nick, his eyes twinkling with merriment, explains that this dome gives access to anywhere in the world, fostering a deep sense of connection to the planet and all life on it. Saint Nick extols his profound belief that one imaginative soul holds the power to reshape the destinies of millions in a positive way. And this is why you have been brought here, led by the spirit of your younger self. One ripple brings a wave. One earnest intention leads to a magical butterfly effect. He invites you to get comfy as his assistant brings a warm holiday drink made specifically to your liking. Saint Nick winks with a mischievous knowing. The crackling fire and the celestial display create a captivating scene as Saint Nick delves into explaining the potency of imagination and the magic woven into the fabric of every Christmas dream. He tells you that as you capture a wish for the world, you must focus on all you wish to see, envisioning what's possible rather than dwelling on what is or what was, for this will change the course in a swifter and more promising way. He leaves you in the soothing place, making it clear that once calm and serene, things will become 
easier. The pillows and cushions form around you as you take in the sky, wishing peace and abundance for all living beings in this world. From a distance, the earth looks vibrant in its shades of blue and green. You zoom in closer to explore villages and streams, deep ocean waters, and mountain peaks, bustling cities, and quaint suburbs. You are able to take it all in at once, from one hemisphere to the next, imagining a world where every soul is safe and content, in harmony with the natural, renewable gifts that nature provides. Every cell in your body radiates the energy of peace and hope. As you hold the space for what has always been possible, Saint Nick reappears, smiling kindly as he carries your coat and exchanges it for the robe, inviting you to bundle up once more and come along. You follow him through a back passageway that leads to a skating pond surrounded by tiny cottages that remind you of children's playhouses. Painted in rich pastel hues, they resemble mini farmhouses and Victorian homes. Surrounded by holiday trees and fences, and shrubs covered with twinkling fairy lights. Saint Nick brings you inside the cottage that resonates with you most, as if reading your mind. Awakening timeless holiday dreams and desires. Before you enter the front door, Saint Nick insists that this is the place where you may cast a wish for yourself and for all the selves you have ever been. Maybe it's not always easy for you to put yourself first or consider what you want. But upon stepping into the tiny cottage, you are taken back through time. The cozy room is aglow with candles that burn in sconces and in old tiny candle holders arranged within bay windows looking out onto the Christmas scene outside. And within this quaint room, warmed by a wood stove, you encounter relics from the past, popular toys and objects that were prevalent in your youth. They may not have been items you had as a child, but may be items you longed for. Overcome by nostalgia, you hear the younger version of you crescendoing within the corners of your mind and reminding you 
that while our wishes may not come to fruition in our preferred time frame doesn't mean they will never come to be. The jubilance in seeing these items lights up the room, radiating from you. As you settle by the wood stove in a rocking chair and connect with your most prevalent wishes throughout time, you sense the silver thread that connects you to all versions of yourself, anticipating the person you may one day be yearning for the same. The candles flicker and elongated shadows dance on the high ceilings of the quaint yet lofty space, conjuring thoughts of blown out birthday candles and dreams throughout time. You take a moment and with ease your personal wish comes to life, filling the room in a holographic display you see yourself receiving this dream as it comes true, knowing that even living it vicariously in this moment fills you with so much joy and contentment that the dream is as wonderful in your imagination as the moment when it becomes reality. As you experience this, you can see your younger self outside the windows of the cottage, waving for you to come outside once more and frolic in the winter wonderland. You step outside as snow falls around, delighting in the magic of the polar air. Echoes of your laughter carry across the icy blue pond as Saint Nick reappears, a benevolent warm figure against the backdrop of this healing wintry escape. All the villagers come out singing holiday songs and take to the ice in an impromptu celebration. It's not uncommon for these jovial moments to occur in the Arctic village. And you and your younger self Playfully slide across the ice in your boots, feeling a sense of freedom and carefree splendor that is unmatched. Lost in time, with sensory perceptions sharpened by the chill, you land in a snowdrift and lie on your back delightfully, peering up at the dancing snow crystals that land around you and on you. You close your eyes and inhale deeply, taking it all in. And when you open them, only Saint Nick remains. He reaches out a gloved hand and helps you up, sensing the waves of tiredness creeping in. The snow crunches beneath your boots and softly patters on your coats 
with a staccato beat. Saint Nick leads you to the other side of the skating pond where a rustic Christmas cottage emerges like a storybook illustration lighting up the night with a warm golden light pouring out the windows framed by dark green shutters wood smoke spirals out of the chimney as snow blankets the roof that slants like the top of a pine tree every window is adorned with a handmade wreath hung by scarlet velvet ribbons sparkling lights outline the log cabin and holly and mistletoe elegantly drape the front deck the chalet style windows are inviting giving a preview of the comforts within the cottage itself is a vision of sweetness resembling a gingerbread house crafted from shiny penny hued logs in lieu of baked confections. The cozy abode is postcard worthy, the kind of dreamy escape one may encounter in the Alps. Saint Nick brings you to the door and says good night, hoping that your wishes spark a night of deep slumber and dreams as sweet as cinnamon buns and Christmas cookies. He opens the door for you before disappearing into the snowy landscape. The cabin's interior unfolds into a holiday haven rife with antique decor in rich reds, greens, golds, and blues. The first floor has an open concept blending the kitchen, living room, and dining room. A towering Christmas tree stands proudly in the middle of the room reaching towards the highest peak of the A-frame ceiling. A grand piano is near the windows, looking out on the inspiring wilderness. Pine boughs dusted in silver glitter wrap around exposed beams below the ceiling, guiding the way to the rustic log stairs that lead to the bedroom loft. You remove your coat and place it on a brass coat hook that resembles reindeer antlers and change out of your boots into a new pair of slippers with your initials embroidered on them. Every inch of the cottage reveals custom holiday touches. Hanging stockings embroidered with care await the delights of Christmas morning. Piles of meticulously wrapped gifts in metallic paper donning festive bows create an atmosphere of anticipation and joy. Large glass jars on the kitchen island overflow with an assortment of holiday cookies. They're inviting aroma, marrying the sweet notes of fresh pine 
and burning logs. Scarlet and emerald green throw blankets with gold holiday patterns drape around overstuffed chairs and a sectional sofa. Fluffy holiday throw rugs carefully placed. Add an extra layer of warmth to the wooden floors. On the kitchen island is a gift just for you. Wrapped in paper in your favorite colors, you tear off the bow and open the box to discover fleece-footed pajamas. A welcome gift as the winter wind whips around the cottage and you still feel a lingering chill in your bones. In the cozy Christmas-themed bathroom, you change into the pajamas, feeling like a kid again. They offer a sense of security and silliness at the same time. Cleansing your hands and face with balsam and cedar soap, the scents of December linger on your skin, filling your lungs as you inhale deeply and sigh. You are in the full swing of the tidings of the holiday season. A heady feeling takes hold and you return to the main room where the fire burns brightly enough to guide you up the stairs to the bedroom loft. In the charming room, you discover a sleigh bed piled high with pillows and the thickest comforter you've ever seen. You settle in the bed, warm and cozy, sinking into the pillow top mattress. You inhale deeply, taking in the fragrant smell of pine cones and cinnamon sticks, immersed in the enchanting world of the Christmas cottage. Nestled contentedly in this rustic cabin, you realize the magic of the season it's not just a fleeting moment, but a timeless idea that resides within you. You may not always be aware of its presence, but the hope and your deepest wishes remain through the seasons. You close your eyes lulled by the wintry soundscape and distant soft chimes of sleigh bells and welcome the night of dreaming ahead. The magic opens you to more enchanting experiences in the next story. The Snow Globe Shop there is a historic village in a cool climate not far from the mountains or sea. Every winter brings blankets of snow and blustering winds. But no snowfall is as magical as the first dusting of the season. Like many centuries-old villages of its type, the locals cannot wait to dress Main Street in boughs of pine and evergreen wreaths made by volunteers who also sell their evergreen pieces around the village to raise money for local programs. Snowflake ornaments the size of crystal chandeliers hang from wires across the quaint street 
and flutter in a wintry breeze. Silvery blue lights twinkle around pearly white tinsel that wraps around the whimsical snowflakes. The cobblestone sidewalks glisten from flurries that melt as soon as they land. The ground is not quite cold enough for the snow to accumulate and endure. Your scarf wraps around your neck and flies behind you on the cold night air that causes your breath to condense. Holiday lights bring softness and warmth to the darkness of early nightfall. Lights in various sizes and shapes and hues wrap around evergreen trees, old lampposts, and the perimeters of three-story dwellings that offer storefronts on the first floor and cozy apartments above. You walk by a bakery, a candy shop, a bank, and the town library. The streets are bustling with families and couples and teenagers hanging out with their friends. Children attempt to skate in their sneakers across the wet sidewalks. The soles of their shoes lighting up in neon pink and blue. You pass a town diner that has served guests since the 1940s. Its original chrome fixtures still gleam and reflect the wintry display outside and the tiers of pies in the display case. The first floor bow windows of storefronts bend out into the street in an inviting way. You arrive at the revered snow globe shop, a store that contains the most diverse array of snow globes to be found in the world. In the storefront window, a snow globe large enough for a child to climb into and frolic nestles between a holiday sleigh and piles of sparkling fake snow. The oversized snow globe contains a replication of the village of Hopecrest, like a dream within a dream. Icicle lights dangle around the windows and roof. A wreath adorned with miniature snow globes hangs on the multi-paned window of the front door. You press your thumb on a frosty brass antique latch and open the door to the shop. A music box plays Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy in the otherwise quiet store. Melanie, the shopkeeper, has become a grandmother to everyone in the village. Once an English teacher, she retired to open the shop to bring her love of literature and storytelling to life with her store. A hand-carved sign hangs above the antique register in glass display case and reads, You're only one thought away from a new adventure. Before opening up the boutique, Melanie took time to learn about what she wanted for herself after a near lifetime of serving others. She traveled the world, making her way around it twice to learn what she thought all along. One does not have to be well-traveled to be worldly. The imagination and written word can expand the reach of understanding and empathy to those unable to jet around as she did for three years. Alone and wandering the streets of Paris on a Christmas Eve many years ago, 
Melanie stepped into an eclectic shop, selling vintage velvet dresses and blazers, antique furniture and knickknacks. On a corner table in the shop, she discovered a snow globe that reminded her of beloved holidays gone by. Whenever she held the globe, she slipped into a world of joyous carolers and community, of holiday confections, and snowy nights spent indoors by a fire. It would be the first of many transformative experiences, and it put in her mind that she would find a way to bring this experience to Hopecrest. She could not bring all the souls of her town with her as she traveled, but she could find a way to bring the travels back to them. You wipe your feet on the welcome mat and step on the creaking wooden floors of the shop. Melanie raises her eyes from a crossword puzzle, a daily practice she enjoys to keep her mind sharp and welcomes you to her store. She asks if you've ever been to the shop before. She senses you haven't, but as the popularity of the store has grown, she finds it harder to remember every face to come by. When you happily tell her this is your first time, she explains to you that the experience is different for everyone. But for those who are open to a new journey, the snow globes are there to provide it. Melanie leans back in her chair and invites you to look around. She then says something that doesn't quite make sense. My dear, at any point should you find yourself wishing to return to the shop, find a candle and blow it out. You'll be back here with me in no time. You try not to be dismissive of what seems like silly utterances from an older lady, so you politely smile and thank her. You'll see, she insists, and then returns her attention to her sharp yellow pencil and puzzle. Hundreds of snow globes from around the world are stacked on built-in shelves that run floor to ceiling. Some depict fantastical cities, others capture nature, while some represent old-timey locations from long ago. You are drawn to a snow globe that depicts a village in the Victorian era. A miniature horse and black carriage travel through the woods to a cottage covered in snow. You pick up the globe, and it's much heavier than you expected. Its wooden base has been weathered slightly through time, yet the coppery-hued wood still gleams. You bring the glass close to your nose, and peer into the details of the setting. The bustling village contrasts the quietude of the countryside, where the thatched roof stone cottage is perched on the outskirts of the village. You shake the globe, and as the brilliant white snowflakes settle, you let out an unexpected sigh. Your breath transports you inside the globe, and you suddenly find yourself dressed in a long wool coat cinched around your waist. You are seated upon a cushioned bench in a carriage as a horse leads you through the snowy village. You inhale the aromas of roasted chestnuts and figgy pudding. A young boy cries out from the corner, sporting a newsboy cap, as he sells newspapers touting good tidings of the holiday season. 
The carriage rocks you back and forth as snowflakes fall and melt on your face. Main Street teems with villagers, shopping for holiday meals and gifts and last minute items. Candles flicker in storefront windows and glass lanterns illuminate the cobblestones. Carolers sing in the heart of the village near a holiday tree dripping in glass beads and hand-blown glass ornaments in shades of sapphire, scarlet, emerald, and gold. The horse guides you away from the holiday splendor to a snow-covered dirt road. The horse's hooves and the wide wheels of the carriage leave their marks on the pristine snow. A full moon shines through a thin veil of clouds to illuminate the path that cuts through the woods. A bunny dashes across the snow, returning to its burrow beneath the snowy forest floor. The woods are quiet save for the sound of crunching snow and the soft whistle of the wind. Moonlight pours through the silhouette of barren trees, cloaked in a thin layer of snow crystals. You come to a clearing where a 17th century cottage awaits. The snow-dappled thatched roof looks like shredded wheat covered in thick white icing. You guide the horse to a barn, or maybe the horse guides you. You then wander across the snowy lawn to the cottage. The warm glow that emanates from the windows is hypnotic, luring you into the comfort and safety of the old walls. You open the door into the cottage, greeted by the warm dry air and the soothing aroma from the wood-burning fire. The main room of the cottage is decorated for the season beyond compare. Wreaths hang on every wall and jewel-toned glass oil lanterns illuminate the room in colorful hues. Baskets of pine cones and cinnamon sticks are placed throughout the open concept space. A long dining table is decorated with boughs of holly, tapered candles and brass candlesticks fine china and polished silverware set for twelve for a holiday meal. You imagine the cottage coming to life with guests on Christmas morning. You smile, recognizing the timeless magic of the holiday season that comes from a universal intention to celebrate and focus on the good in the world. You stand by the fire and its warm amber glow causes snow to turn into tiny droplets on your dress coat. A cranberry-hued candle flickers atop the mantle and Melanie's words come to you in a soft whisper. Curious about what else there is to explore, you bring your lips to the candle and blow it out. You vanish from the room as a small trail of smoke squiggles through the air from the blown out wick. You find yourself back in the snow globe shop, standing in the same place. A grandfather clock ticks and reveals no more than a few seconds have passed. You look at Melanie as she continues her puzzle. 
I wonder what it would be like to explore another landscape. Your fingers reach for one of the most colorful settings inside a globe. Half-timbered homes in vibrant pastel shades of pink, turquoise, buttercup yellow, mint green, and melon surround a holiday market in the village square. A frozen river snakes around the village, and ice skaters sail across the ice. The fringe of the red, blue, and green knitted scarves flailing behind them. You shake the snow globe and take in a deep breath. And as you exhale, you find yourself on the ice, soaring beneath stone bridges that connect the holiday market in the village. Your body feels capable of things you have not experienced before. And skating comes as easily as walking. You spin around in a circle and extend your arms like an eagle in flight. The freedom and ease of motion make you giddy and you smile. So grateful for these physical sensations that make being alive so worthwhile. You skate towards a gazebo and carefully waddle atop the frozen grass to exchange your skates for warm faux fur lined boots. It takes a moment to find your bearings, but you do. You ascend the riverbank to the heart of the holiday markets. Gingerbread houses and baked pastries add notes of baking spice to marry the smell of clean snow and holiday wreaths made of fir and pine branches. You explore the holiday market the stalls overflowing with decadent items that appeal to all senses. Porcelain ballerinas spin atop hand-carved jewelry boxes. Piles of rustic bread, pretzels, and baked goods flow out of wooden crates stacked on tables. Knit sweaters in vibrant stripes and snowflake patterns form plush piles of softness. Crystal and hand-painted metallic ornaments dangle from wooden beams and decorated staged holiday trees for sale. The greatest intention of everyone involved with the Christmas market is to create beautiful displays and celebrate the charm of the season. A gaggle of young children runs through the markets with small white tapered candles surrounded by paper discs. They pass them out and inform everyone to gather around the tree for the evening's vigil. You follow the crowds as the market shutters for the annual celebration. The tree rises a story or two above the highest timbered home in the village and is dressed in rainbow-hued lights and ceramic ornaments made each year at the festival, signed by visitors in elegant penmanship, while some contain photos of people enjoying the festival. A charismatic man with ruddy cheeks and a big smile who looks quite like Santa Claus without even trying, stands in front of the tree with an ivory ribbon candle that has glittery stripes of crimson, green, and gold. As the ribbon candle burns, the man lights his small white tapered candle with a flame and then uses it to light the candle nearest him. 
from that one flame. Soon tiny flames are shared to ignite the dark wicks of hundreds of candles. The flickering candles are a solve to the darkness of night and cast the calm, smiling faces of people from around the world in golden light. The man leads the group from one jubilant song about snow and celebration to the next. Many attendees do not speak the language or know the words, yet still they hum and sway along. The sweet voices of children, the vibrato of a soprano, the deep bass voices of men, and some loud, confident voices that couldn't find the right key if given a map, come together in a festive chorus of one. And in this moment, you have a profound sense of connection. You tap into something bigger than you. The singing ends and the Santa Claus doppelganger blesses the group with wishes for good health and a life led by love. You bring your candle to your lips and blow it out, sealing in the warm feelings encountered at the holiday market. A floating sensation is followed by a soft thud of your feet and a red and green throw rug in the snow globe shop. For this return, Melanie smiles at you knowingly. She stands and waves her hand for you to follow her and brings you to a nook in the back of the shop. Red velvet drapes hang in the entryway to this tiny room. It features a display of snow globes with city scenes, captured throughout time. Tokyo, Paris, San Francisco, Rome, Madrid, London, Singapore, Lima, Mexico City. She brings you to her favorite snow globe in the room, a snow globe for New York. Melanie says in all of her travels, there is something timeless about the holiday season in the Big Apple. She thought everyone should visit at least once. You lift the snow globe from the shelf and peer into the glass. The spire of the Empire State Building is illuminated in gold. Yellow cabs dot the snow-dusted streets. Before your mind drifts away to Manhattan, Melanie places her loving hand on yours and says, I hope our paths cross again soon and that you find delight in this season. It can be hard some years, I know, especially those transitional years. In other years, you can get lost in all the to-do lists and demands, but try to keep sight of what brings you joy and peace. I found in my life that days may seem to pass slowly, but the years certainly speed by fast. You smile and feel the muscles in your cheeks come to life as you thank her. And with another sigh and a wistful glance at the snow globe, you are transported to New York at the height of the holiday season. You stand in Rockefeller Center. The crowds have dispersed as the last of the skaters grace the iconic rink on the cusp of midnight. You walk down a canyon between skyscrapers, surrounded by gilded life-sized angels directing their horns towards the glittering tree. Spotlights illuminate the ice and all colors in the spectrum. 
first-time skaters and those who are seasoned gracefully slither around them, encouraging the newcomers on. Snow begins to fall in large white iridescent flakes that land on your hat and parka. And as you look around, you could be in New York in the 1950s or present day, but it all feels the same. The air smells of clean snow and candied nuts sold at a silver cart on the cross street. You walk to the east to come upon the glitzy window displays of Saks Fifth Avenue. You take in the lights show with a late night crowd. Sparkling lights in every hue you could imagine form a castle six stories high on the building's facade, dreamlike and magical. The storefront windows showcase a world where fairy tale characters come to Broadway to make their dreams a reality. Blue icicle lights drip down around the window displays. You peer downtown to see the Empire State Building as snowflakes dance in the golden light of street lamps and accumulate on the glistening pavement. The yellow bodies of cabs reflect on the shiny avenue, as do the colorful holiday lights and displays. You begin your trek northerly and come to an outdoor cart that sells specialty hot cocoa enhanced by seasonal flavors like creme de menthe, almond, hazelnut, butter pecan, and cherry cordial. You select a flavor that appeals to you, and the vendor adds generous puffs of whipped cream and chocolate shavings to the drink. The sweet elixir keeps your hands warm as a sharp breeze cuts down the avenue. You sip the hot chocolate, feeling the rich and silky beverage cascade down your throat, warming you from within. The night around you is so magical. One would think it could only exist in a snow globe or a reverie. The lights and sounds of a city teeming with holiday cheer carry layers of memories of holidays gone by on every corner. You lose yourself in the blocks, walking and sipping and savoring each moment until you come to the Plaza Hotel. Wreaths as tall as you hang in the heart of each window on the first floor, their white lights sparkling like diamonds. You ascend the red carpeted stairs to ebony and gold revolving doors to be welcomed by a bellman. The door swooshes as he spins it round and you emerge into the warm air of the lobby. Shiny red, silver, and gold ornaments reflect and magnify the holiday beauty. In the center of the lobby is a holiday tree, so tall the star atop it is only an inch or two below the lofty ceiling. A crystal chandelier cloaks the marble walls in golden light. You walk to the elevator bank and ride to your floor, soothed by the elevator's soft hum as tiredness takes hold. The doors open and a bell rings 
and she walked down the long hallway. The soft carpeting supports your tired feet. You enter your hotel suite and remove your coat and hat and hang them in an armoire. It feels as if you have been here before and this familiarity brings confidence that you will enjoy a night of perfect sleep. Gold drapes are drawn open and floor to ceiling windows look out onto Central Park. A dark respite from the city lights, the snow dusted skeletal trees scatter the shadowy landscape. You yawn as you look out onto the park and then close the heavy curtains. You change into cotton pajamas that have your name embroidered in metallic thread on a chest pocket. The fabric is the softest you have ever felt. You walk to the bed, a pillowy headboard with gold trim reminds you of an antique frame. You pull back the freshly laundered duvet and crisp luxury sheets. You climb into the bed and tuck yourself in and then turn off the light. You settle into the most comfortable bed you have ever encountered and begin to drift to sleep. You feel safe within this make-believe world that seems so real that your body melts in this moment of deep relaxation. The simple pleasures of this time of year and you may let go to sleep or prepare yourself for a royal adventure. Winter Soiree at the Castle It's hard to imagine how such a glorious castle was erected in the 15th century, long before the conveniences of modern technology. Surrounded by snow-covered mountains that jut against a silvery-gray sky, over a dozen castle spires rise out from towers as if to emulate the jagged peaks. The strong lines pierce the sky as if to say they are unafraid and will endure no matter what fate brings their way. You arrived centuries after the castle was built and understand the veracity of the spires. The castle is as beautiful as it has ever been. Perched above a frozen river, with small jagged blocks of ice tinted light blue, it dazzles in festive holiday decor. Every embellishment sparkles, shines, or reflects natural and human-created beauty. Hand-blown glittery gold glass balls hang from the ceilings, illuminated by antique crystal chandeliers that drip like tears of joy. Evergreen boughs as lush as the neighboring forest are strewn across every bit of wainscoting and every banister. The palace smells of balsam fir and melting candle wax from the hundreds of candelabras placed on mantles, tables, and the three grand pianos in the ballrooms and main hall. Three foot wide glass snowflakes hang from the ceiling of the library 
that spans two floors. Tiny twinkling lights surround the perimeters of floor-to-ceiling mahogany bookshelves. Every nook and room of the castle has been dressed for the occasion. Earlier in the day, you attended a fitting organized by costumers who've traveled from Broadway, Paris, and the West End to dress guests for the annual affair. This year's costume palette is winter whites and icy blues. Rack upon rack of glittering, velvety, and silky suits and gowns filled the room. The beaded, sequined, and shiny garments gleamed in hundreds of varying shades of white, silver, and icy blues. Charlotte, your stylist, brought you a half dozen items that you tried on before an ornate mirror embellished with gold. The three-sided mirror wrapped around you as you felt each article hug your body in a flattering way. But one piece stood out the most and brought you the confidence of a small child in their favorite fictional character's costume. It resurrected memories of articles of clothing you once wore in your life that captured that special time and defined it. Charlotte tailored the regal fabric around your body and remarked how you were glowing. The joy you felt during your fitting radiated from the inside. All the guests invited to attend the winter soiree were selected by a secret international kindness society. In a harsh world, this group of individuals had their ways of scouring the globe to find the most deserving souls. And you were chosen to be one of them. The funny thing about kind souls is that when they are rewarded, often their first response is to give back even more. It humbled you to stand in the fitting room as sunlight cut between the ice-capped mountains and poured into the room. When you caught your reflection, you saw that you were glowing. Your eyes sparkled. An aura formed around you and the icy blues and whites of your ensemble. Charlotte remarked, half-joking, that your aura looked good on you. In addition to travel accommodations and wardrobe for the ball, all the attendees received an engraved piece, a locket or a pocket watch engraved with this message. Kindness begets kindness. Keep shining your light. Now, hours later, you lazily enjoy the afternoon in your regal suite. As the sun slips towards the mountains, you enjoy a luxurious bath in a clawfoot marble tub and peer out small diamond-shaped windows that look out onto snowy hills and the Carpathian peaks. Long after your skin has become pruny and your muscles have become as soft as the wax of dripping pillar candles that frame the tub, you rise out of the bubbly water. 
you feel reset and ready for a soiree. Your skin is silky and you dry yourself in a fluffy towel that could wrap around you twice. You play around with the magical body care potions left in your powder room and then dress for the evening. The ceilings of the palatial suite are over 15 feet high. Thick gold brocade drapes cover the windows with dozens of panes encased in metal frames. The light dusting of snow turns a peachy shade in the last light of the day. A trail of cars and horse-drawn carriages slithers on a single lane road and a stone bridge that goes over the frozen river and leads to the castle. Ivory headlights illuminate the shadows cast from evergreen trees coated in a pearly dusting of snow. The outside world sparkles as much as the interior of the castle. You check yourself one less time in the mirror and smile as you run your fingers over the engraved gift that reminds you of how you arrived here by being kind. Yet over a lifetime, actively choosing kindness is a gift in itself. And tonight, choosing to be kind to yourself is just as important as all the kindness bestowed upon others. No matter how unfair the world has seemed at times, no matter how often it may feel that the crooked schemers are the ones who get ahead, your presence in this dreamy castle setting shows a reassuring reality that kindness wins out. Your suite, like every other room of the palace, has its own holiday tree. Vintage jewel-toned metallic glass ornaments, nearly a century old, reflect the flickering flames in the stone fireplace. A pair of satin pajamas are neatly folded at the end of the bed, which will be turned down by the staff as you enjoy the ball. It comforts you to know this regal sanctuary waits for you and will welcome you after the soiree. You open the double doors and enter the hall that comes to life with other guests. The silvery blue and white glamorous attire glitters and fills the hallway like an icy blue river. Women in ball gowns come down from tower suites the sounds of their clicking heels on winding marble stairs echo throughout the castle. You follow the guests from the west wing into the main hall, where more guests arrive and ascend the royal blue carpet that rolls out onto the snow-dusted driveway. A sharp breeze of fresh air from the open doors encourages you to take a deep breath, reminding you of the majesty of the surrounding mountains. 
The soft, inquisitive murmurs of guests are supported by the romantic swells of a string quartet that plays from a gazebo suspended from the ceiling. The gazebo drips in holiday lights and hangs near a crystal and gold chandelier that is just as large. Two aerialists dressed in glittering bodysuits perform in an aerial hoop shaped like a white crescent moon and baby blue silks that hang from the ceiling. Silver, white, and sapphire blue velvet ribbons as thick as one's arm are tied around fresh garlands strung throughout the hall. Dozens of waiters in white velvet suits and frilly blue shirts weave in and out of the crowd, gaily offering effervescent drinks and hors d'oeuvres, so perfectly designed and assembled that eating them almost feels like a crime. And yet you imbibe and sample each one. The elixir tingles down your throat and the delicacies coat your palate with umami splendor. So many wondrous sensations accompany this moment that you lose count of them and try to hold on to the pleasures to remind you of how wonderful it can feel to be alive. The way your fancy attire feels against your skin and the confidence it brings you. The deep connection you feel to everyone in this room, partaking in the experience with an equal sense of appreciation and gratitude. The way the flames flicker in candelabras and cause your mind to drift to earlier times in the castle's history. The fragrant air that smells of winter, malt spices, and burning logs in the fire. Doors open into two opposite facing ballrooms on each side of the main hall. In one, an orchestra plays Tchaikovsky. And at the end of the room, there is the grandest holiday tree in the castle. In the other room, a smorgasbord features a feast of international cuisine of the finest savory holiday treats and sweet confections. You walk into the feast and admire the stations of glistening, piping hot foods. They look so perfect as if taken from the cover of a cooking magazine. Some of them are decadent in almost cartoonish ways reminding you of royal scenes and entertainment that you watched as a child. A hundred tables are dressed with snow white satin tablecloths and ornate vases that rise high above the tables and hold winter white lilies and periwinkle hydrangeas that perfume the room. You sit in a 19th century upholstered chair that would please even Louis XIV. Flavors linger on your palate until you are so satiated your body becomes warm and full. You feel as if you have drifted into a dream or a movie you once saw long ago. And as you think of your first daydreams about castles 
and mystical villages in the mountains. You look up and see the sparkling eyes of someone you do not know, yet they feel quite familiar. They emanate warmth and give you a sense of peace. This is the kind of night that makes lifetime friends in an instant. A castle full of strangers brought together to be jubilant and celebrated for being good people. This kind soul invites you to follow them into the ballroom for a dance. Their eyes remind you of someone trustworthy from your youth. Their smile reminds you of someone who once dared you to buck the rules and be your authentic self. Their demeanor reminds you of someone who always looked after you, even when you were unaware that they were. Other couples gather on the dance floor beneath five chandeliers that hang among oversized ornaments filled with snowy landscapes and fairy lights. The ceiling is a celestial blue with flecks of gold that depict an opulent sky. Your new friend brings you to the heart of the dance floor and your body moves in ways it hasn't before. You glide across the marble floor, stepping in time with the orchestra and your dance partner. Floor to ceiling windows span three walls of the ballroom, some looking out on the silhouette of mountains basking in the moonlight. The interior windows look out onto a courtyard. As flurries fall on a frozen marble fountain and Christmas tree, The snowy weather makes the warm glow of the chandeliers and candles throughout the room feel warmer. The ballroom dancers in their silvery white and shimmering blue attire move like snowflakes on a gentle breeze, gliding and hovering over the earth before gracefully landing to the beat of the music. Your heart feels open and warm. Your lips tingle from smiling. The muscles in your cheeks softly yet pleasantly burn from the constant smiling and laughter that this night has brought on. Spotlights come up on the stage and the orchestra quiets. A singer you have longed to see all your life takes the stage, standing in the center of the orchestra. More guests fill the ballroom and cheer at the surprise performance. The music carries you to places you've forgotten. The melodies and lyrics of your favorite performer have helped you feel less alone on your hardest days and have helped you celebrate your best moments. In this faraway land known as Transylvania, you are connected with a piece of home 
in the splendor of a snowy dream. You wish the performance would last forever. It's made all the more special because it is a surprise. And it feels amazing to know that life can still surprise you in the best of ways. Each new day brings that promise if you seek it and believe. The performance ends and the orchestra plays a waltz. Elegant dancers take the floor again like royal couples of yesteryear. You step one, two, three with your new friend, smiling and giggling as you glide across the floor. When the dance ends, the doors to the courtyard open and everyone gathers outside to light sparklers and stand around the tree. Wicker baskets contain heavy shawls and blankets that guests drape around themselves to enjoy the snowfall and keep warm. You and your friend wrap one another in the soft weighted fabric that keeps you dry from the falling snow. Once the sparklers have been passed out and lit by all, the crowd holds them high in the air. The iridescent glow of the snow and the silver sparklers shooting off into the night creates an impression you will not forget. One of the organizers of this gathering stands on a platform near the tree to introduce herself. Her silvery blue gown sparkles with thousands of tiny crystals hand sewn into the skirt. Delicate lights shine from beneath the layers of powder blue tulle that blows over a hoop skirt. She gives off the kind energy of a fairy or a good witch as she directs the revelers with a sparkler raised towards the sky and says, Kindness is the light that glows through the darkest moments. It warms the coldest nights. Thank you for celebrating. Be as kind to yourself as you are to others. And keep shining. And tucked within the courtyard of a historic castle Within the mountains of Transylvania, on a cold, wintry night, you experience the light of kindness, even as the sparklers go dim. One by one, attendees return indoors, and you are the last to remain. You stand in the quietude, bundled in a blanket, as large, wet snowflakes melt on your cheeks. And as you cannot believe life has brought you to this magical gathering so far from home, you realize it is best to expect the unexpected. The best things in life often can surpass and exceed the greatest dreams of the most hopeful dreamers. 
and you deserve to experience the splendor as much as anyone. You walk indoors as the soiree begins to die down. The smorgasbord has been cleared to make room for tea, a sleepy elixir to help the guests unwind as they return to their suites and accommodations in the village. You settle at a table with your new friend and sip a lavender tea served in fine china edged with silver and decorated with hand-painted snowflakes. Your eyes become tired and bleary as you look at the silky liquid that becomes like a small cinema screen. And in the purple-hued tea, you see an earlier version of yourself from this night, swept away by the music and dancing with ease. This imagery makes you smile and you hope to find ways to be as carefree and joyous in your daily life. Your friend offers to walk with you to the West Wing. You smile and stand, and with your arms threaded together at the elbow, you wander the hallway like playmates in grade school. The wind howls outside the castle, and its whistles echo through the stone walls. You arrive at your suite. Your friend offers a comforting hug goodnight. And you slip behind the heavy double doors for a night of deep sleep. The fire roars, having been recently stoked, and your bed has been turned down by the staff. You change out of your fancy attire and hang it on the front of an armoire so you may admire it and remember the night come morning. The royal satin pajamas fit you perfectly with silky breathable fabric that feels lightweight on your skin. You wash your face and brush your teeth in the opulent bathroom. And then you return to the bedroom and hoist yourself up into the canopy bed. You nestle your head in the half dozen fluffy pillows covered in satin cases. Firelight dances on the bed and you feel its warmth as you bury yourself beneath the heavy comforter. The crackles and pops of burning wood create a soporific soundtrack when joined by the wintry winds and snow pelting against the windows. All but one of the windows has the curtains drawn shut, and you are happy to look out onto the magical snowy landscape. You feel grateful that this enchanting scene is the last you will see before closing your eyes and drifting to sleep.
like a child resisting a nap. You try your hardest to keep your eyes open, fighting to enjoy nature's beauty as it unfolds. But soon, the hypnotic snowflakes encourage tiredness to take over and you surrender to its offer of respite. As you drift deeper and deeper into a state of relaxation, hope burns within you like the flames of the fire. It guides you towards healing dreams of peace. You are free to treat your dreamscape as a blank canvas. With your desires like paintbrushes dipping into watercolors, flowing out of you from your imagination. The Gingerbread Village A soft, silvery blue light appears, glowing just over your bed. It is the light of a fairy who softly murmurs your name and mysteriously gets to work. She sprinkles a handful of shimmering fairy dust on you that makes your body feel good and tingle all over. Her magical tiny fingers dance on the air and each motion creates something new in your room. With an agile flicking of her hands, she turns your bed into a canopy bed. You are suddenly surrounded by sheer luminous curtains made of chiffon embedded with tiny holiday lights in shades of frosty blue and silvery white. You are within this magical sanctuary that fills your heart with a warm feeling and sparks joy. The fairy points to the curtain and encourages you to draw it back. With heightened curiosity, your hand reaches for the soft fabric. You pull back the curtain and step out of the bed into a new world. You find yourself in an open, lofty space that combines a kitchen and living room. There is a fireplace where a fire roars and marmalade-hued flames lick the soot-covered walls. On a mantle above the fireplace, you recognize photos of yourself throughout your life taken during the winter months. In one photo, you are adorned in a snowsuit as a child posing next to a sled. In another, you are standing next to a snowman. A Christmas tree is set up in the corner, decorated with familiar ornaments and colorful lights. The home smells of freshly baked gingerbread and balsam fir. You feel as if you have been here before even though so many things appear new. Your feet are adorned in plush slippers that are fuzzy and warm. You are wearing holiday flannel pajamas that have been washed many times and have a softness that comes only in time. A furry pet comes up to you and rubs against your legs. You bend down and pet your loving companion. The winter's wind howls around the home. Snowflakes pelt against the bay windows, 
that look out on a dark village street and a yard that is blanketed with fresh snow. There is a long wooden table that could easily seat 12 people. It is the stage for decorating supplies to make gingerbread homes. You walk over to the table and take a seat on a long upholstered bench. Your pet follows you and curls at your feet, warming them. You find pieces of glossy mahogany gingerbread in cutouts shaped as walls and roofs. They are from an old German recipe and smell of molasses and ginger. You run your hand along the shiny surface and lift a piece to your nose to savor the aroma. The gingerbread still retains the warmth from the oven and you relish this feeling in your hand. Jars of gumdrops and lemon drops and a rainbow of assorted hard candies form a line down the table there are sprigs of rosemary and cinnamon sticks and tiny branches left over from the Christmas tree trimming that are in a wooden crate. You find a piping bag full of white icing and get to work. You create foundations for the homes and long paths that become snowy lanes between the gingerbread houses. Once you map out the village, you create foundations and long paths that will become snowy lanes between the gingerbread homes. Once you map out the village, you begin to assemble the homes. Memories of holidays are carried on the warm air as you surrender to the meditative and creative experience of building your village. You are suddenly joined at the table by different versions of yourself throughout this life. You see your childhood self at the end of the table, grabbing handfuls of candies and counting them before adorning the houses with confections in your favorite color palette at that age. You see versions of yourself in this life that you most enjoyed. At times when you were healthy and confident and eager to learn and have fun for the sake of fun. You take the piping bag and feel the warm icing squish in the palm of your hand as you guide the nozzle to create ivory icicles that hang from the roof's edges. A bit of icing falls on your finger and you lick it off, noticing how the tiny sugar crystals melt on your tongue. You hear the chatter of your younger selves it is like a joyous melody that sings along to the whistling winds and soft tapping of snow. The cookie homes are designed in different styles from Victorian era mansions to classic cottages to log cabins. Candy cane trees and confetti sprinkles pepper the village and you build a stream of icing that is rife with red gummy fish and flows into a wide frozen lake. You take a silver metal sifter that is full of confectioner's sugar and turn the handle so the village is covered with a dusting of sweet powdery snow. And as you put the finishing touches on the village, 
You make bridges out of red licorice and a holiday tree in the center of town that is made of Kelly green ribbon candy that swirls towards the sky. You dress the village with golden fairy lights that twinkle like blankets of stars spread throughout the fantasy world of sweet confections. And as you finish, the energy in the room changes. There is a soft gust of warm wind. At the head of the table, you and your younger selves are joined by the you of the future. This older version of you is still and wise, calm and self-possessed. As this older self takes a seat and smiles warmly, you feel soothed by this older version of you. And in a voice you recognize as your own, but yet is somehow different more seasoned, more self-assured, you hear your older self say, you have done well, you are on the right path. Keep following your inner voice and know that with the highs and lows, it will all be worth it. Conspiratorially, you look to your younger selves and feel childlike for a moment, as if questioning this authority figure from the future. You trust that all you have heard is true. Deep inside, you enjoy the safety in believing this and feel centered. You once again inhale the magical aromas of the holiday air. You take a piece of an unused gingerbread cookie and coat it with warm icing before you break off a piece for yourself and share the rest of it with your younger and older selves. You all raise your cookies like a toast to the holidays of the past, the present, and those to come. You let the sweet and spicy cookie melt on your tongue. The ginger warms your throat when you swallow, and the rich taste of molasses lingers. You look at the village with your other selves and they begin to vanish into thin air. You are left alone with your masterpiece and your furry friend and feel a sense of peace and deep relaxation. You rise and turn off the lights in the room and tend to the fire adding another heavy log. You feel the dry bark in your hands and the warmth of the fire as you place the log in the center and stoke it with a cast iron fireplace poker. The room is cozily lit by the glow of the Christmas tree, the fairy lights of the gingerbread village and the flickering fire. You walk to the bay window that looks out onto the ebony night, illuminated only by the holiday light that line the perimeters of your neighbor's homes. The snow continues to fall in large crystals and clumps that stick to the glass. In front of the window is a luxurious velvet sofa in your favorite color. You run the palm of your hand 
along the rich softness. Before you lie down and rest your head on a satin pillow, your furry companion jumps onto the sofa and nestles within a crook in your body. You sigh together in a surrender to the cozy, peaceful moment. You look into your pet's watery eyes and feel the love and devotion to one another that you share. Your pet's eyes close and your attention turns to the fire and then to the gingerbread village across the room. Your eyes close almost involuntarily. Your lids are heavy and in the sleepy haze, the lights of the gingerbread village begin to blur like an impressionist's painting. At last, your eyelids become like heavy sandbags that fall on your tired eyes. You are drifting from this moment towards sleep with a dreamy sensation that you are falling, falling, falling. And through the darkness of night, your gingerbread village comes to life. You are floating above it until you land on the sugary white path. A cloud of the fake snow puffs around your feet that are cloaked in gummy bear boots. Your whole body is suddenly limber and made of candy as well. There is a softness and flexibility that you feel with this new body. You have let go of the heaviness of being on earth and feel as light as a dollop of freshly whipped cream and as flexible as a vine of licorice. The village smells as if a bakery of holiday goods opened its doors in the depths of an enchanted evergreen forest. The colors of the candy palette are playful and shimmer like rainbow pearls. The other inhabitants of the village come to life. The mayor is a gingerbread cookie who stands taller than you and is the first to greet you. You are thanked profusely for creating this magical village. Gummy bears and snowmen and townspeople made of marzipan also come to life and start a parade towards the Christmas tree in the center of town. You are celebrated for giving life to this world and met by a sleigh made of chocolate with upside down candy canes that serve as rails. You are lifted into the sleigh by the townspeople and you inhale the aroma of fine chocolate as you settle into the seat. You are suddenly in the center of a candy parade, being pulled along on the sleigh until you make it to the town's center. The ribbon candy tree is lit and holiday songs are sung. A match that is nearly as tall as the mayor is struck and erupts in a flame that lights tea light candles around the center of the village. The flames dance on the night's air like small campfires. 
The songs continue, and you are reminded of times long ago, when your favorite seasonal melodies would play, and you would be invigorated by a season of giving and hope. And try as you may to carry this hope with you throughout the year. The holiday season is like a march that sparks the flames of optimism again. As the festivities die down, the gummy bears and townspeople begin to slip away to their gingerbread homes, to their places they say good night and wish you a happy holiday. You come down from the sleigh and explore the town on your own. You walk down a snowy lane, passing by a frozen lake made of icing beneath the darkness of night. You venture onto the ice and glide across it in your gummy boots. You feel a cool breeze as you extend your arms and take flight on it. Traveling from one side of the lake to another, the confectioner's sugar snow falls all around you. It's like being in the middle of a candy snow globe. You leave the lake and walk through the illuminated village. You turn onto memory lane and shuffle your feet in the powdery snow. The sugary embellishments are now larger, or rather you are smaller, and you take in the oversized details of each home you hear the whispers of your younger selves and the wisdom from your older self. It is as if they are looking over you while you explore this magical night. They encourage you to savor each moment and relish the fantasy your own imagination has created. As you walk by the gingerbread homes, they become more than mere homes. Each house contains memories of the past. And you approach and look into the windows that are surrounded by shutters made of icing and rectangular chocolate-covered mints. These reenactments appear in a hologram form. In the first window, you see yourself gleeful. You are surrounded by the people you have loved most in this life. The gingerbread homes you created are now sanctuaries that protect your dreams for the future and memories of the past. Because wherever you go, and whatever you create, you bring with you all that you have experienced because it has shaped you. And you bring all your intentions for the days to come. You continue down memory lane and look into the cut out windows of the homes letting the memories wash over you. Nostalgia is the theme of the night. Your yearning to be connected again brings you through the village and to each home. Sweet, nostalgic love permeates the imaginary village you designed. In the next home, you peer in to see the person you hope to become. Living out 
the best of your dreams. You can feel this experience as if it is happening right now. And as you come back to the moment, you feel as if everything is existing at once. This gives you the confidence to believe that you can really manifest the life you most desire. You arrive at the last gingerbread home on the lane, and this is the one you have designed just for you. It has been crafted in the way you would design your dream home. The gingerbread door opens into the magical candy interior. You climb the rich brown cookie stairs to the bedroom and you feel ready to sleep the night away, comforted by the smell of baking spices. The air is warm and pleasant in the way a kitchen feels after cookies have been baking in it all day. The interior of the home is a creative canvas for candy art. There are portraits of you and your loved ones made of powdered candy in glass cases. Their colorful designs are like an Andy Warhol masterpiece. Sprigs of rosemary are wrapped around the railing and the second floor landing that you float through to your bedroom. You enter the room for sleep and guide yourself to a marshmallow bed that is so plush it contours to your body. You relish the warmth from the fireball blazing in the fireplace that makes the room smell of cinnamon. You drift between worlds, between the gingerbread fantasy to the cozy home where you are the architect of this vision, to the sanctuary of your room where this all began. A dream within a dream within a dream, fitted as complementary as a Russian nesting doll. You waft on the holiday memories that come to you with the slightest of smells and images, and you surrender to the tide of their nostalgic bliss. You connect with the you that is always there, regardless of time, regardless of circumstance. You allow yourself to believe in the possibilities brought to you by the future version of yourself and you trust. You trust yourself and this life as you float across the bridge to your sleeping world, where you may dream of your passions and all you hope for in your future with a special twinkle of fairy dust and holiday magic. It's time to dream away. <laughs>